In this program, we're going to try to uh, write a guessing game where the program will generate a random number, let's say just between 1 and 10, and then it'll give the user a chance to guess that number. Every time the user guesses a number, we're going to tell them if it was either too high or too low or if that was the right number. So the first thing we're going to need is we're going to need a scanner to be able to read in the numbers that the user types in for their guess. Okay, so we've got that. We just need to import the scanner class here. And then the next thing that we need to do is we need to generate the random number. So make a variable here called the number. We want that to be an integer. So we're going to ran randomly generate the number. And this will make it be between 0 and 9 but we actually want it to be between 1 and 10, so we're going to add 1 to it. So this will gener generate a random number between 1 and 10 and store that in this variable. The next thing that we need to do is we need to write a loop that repeatedly asks the user to guess the number until they get it correct. Well, I found that the easiest way to write uh, loops in programs is to first write out the code to execute just once, and then after that, we'll worry about uh, getting it to execute multiple times. So what do we need to do every time through our loop? Well, we need to ask the user to guess the number. And we need to, let's just do print other than print line there. And we need to read in their guess. Then if their guess is smaller than the number, we need to tell them that's too low. So if guess is less than the number, let's say that their guess is too low. Otherwise, if guess is greater than the number, So we're going to tell them that's too high. Otherwise, we're going to tell them they got it right. Okay, and then let me fix my typo here. Okay, so in the interest of incremental development, we're going to run this and see if it works just uh, one time through. So we're going to run this. We're going to guess the number. Let's guess 5. Okay, that happened to be it. Let's try this again. This time we're going to guess 2, and it says 2 is too low. So this seems to be working. Now we want to put this into a loop. Well, what part do we want to loop through? We want to loop through until uh, they get the number correct, right? And we know that they need to at least guess one number. So we're going to do a do while loop, because we don't know exactly how many times this loop needs to execute but we know it needs to execute at least once. You can do control A, control I to get everything to uh, be indented correctly. Now we need to have a case when we're going to stop. So or we're going to need to have a condition to test to determine when to stop. So we're going to make a Boolean variable here called write and we're initially going to set it to false. And then when they get it correct, we're going to say right equals true. And we're going to keep looping as long as they haven't gotten it right yet. So if we run this again, 5 is too low. Let's try 8. 8 is too low. 9. 9 is too low. And it was 10. So this seems to be working correctly. So what we did was we wrote the code that would go in our loop just by itself made sure that that worked first, then went back and put the loop around it. We used a Boolean variable in this case to determine when we were going to stop our loop, and we used a do-while loop because we knew that the loop needed to execute at least once. And that's all for this example.